if you've been following me for any length of time, you know when I make something, I always say, I love it. In this case, I didn't love this. Well, let's get into the tutorial anyway, and we will see what happened. Hello everyone, and welcome to Cricut Team with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. Before you ask, I made this shirt last year using Caesar Easy Subly. I will make sure I leave a link to that tutorial below this video that you're watching right now. I am holding my Cricut mug press because we will be using this thing in the tutorial today. And I will be sublimating two mugs that I received from PYD Life. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let's get started. The materials I'm going to use for this project include my Cricut Maker, however you could use any Cricut cutting machine. I'm going to use my Cricut mug press. I'm using two mugs that I received from PYD Life. I'm using my Cricut Easy Press mat, a green standard grip mat, Cricut heat resistant tape. I'm also using these two designs that I downloaded from Design Bundles. And I am using one piece of butcher paper that I just cut away from my roll of butcher paper. I am on the designbundles.net website and I am looking at, I just typed in, first I typed in breast cancer mug wraps and then I just, I typed in cancer mug wraps to see all of the options. And the two that really stood out to me were this one right here that says, I choose hope. So I've already downloaded this one. And the other one that I downloaded is the one that looks like this. So I'm going to put one on the silver glitter tumbler and one on the pink glitter tumbler. I am in Cricut Design Space and I'm connected to my Cricut Maker. The first thing I'm going to do is go over to Projects. And I am going to, do, to just do a search for mug. I'll just type in mug in my search bar. And I'm going to look for the option for mug um, design setup. I should have had, had it saved as a favorite, but it's this one right here that has 20 sizes. I'm going to click that. And right here, I get to choose the size of mug that I'm making. So I can do a small straight edge, which is 12 ounces. Mine are 12 ounce mugs. Um, I could do a small ripped edge. It looks like this. I could do a small scalloped edge, which would look like this. Let's see. I could also do a small wavy edge, which would look like this. Um, let's see. Are those all the options? I could do a small zigzag edge. I do not like that one. Let's see. Those are my options. Okay. And I think I just want to do a small straight edge just like this. And so I am going to click customize. Okay. So my mug wrap template comes up and this right here, this green layer, I'm looking at my layers panel. This actually represents where I'm going to put the design. Okay, this guide, this doesn't actually print out. It is, it is a guide, just like there are guides that you cre can create for anything else. So I'm going to click upload. And now I'm going to upload the image. I'm going to browse to my folder that I have on my desktop um, that says design bundles. Remember, I have one that's called I choose hope. Okay, I'm going to do the eight and a half, eight by five by three by five. Um, mug. I'm going to click open. I'm going to click complex. I'm going to choose continue. I'm not going to make any edits right here. I'm going to click apply and continue. I'm going to choose the print then cut option. I'm going to click upload. I'm going to select the file and I'm going to add it to my canvas. Okay, so when it comes in, um, it is much bigger, of course, than I need it to be. And you can see right here, it says that it's eight and a half by five, but it's, I need to make this the same size as this small mug wrap. Okay, and the size of this mug wrap right here, let me look at the size. 
let me bring the view down on my screen a little bit and if you can hear that noise in the background um, someone is getting their lawn cut okay all right so let me click right here and let me um, detach this because I just want to know what size this is it is 8.75 by 3.79 so I need to make this um, I'm going to unlock this I'm going to make this 8.75 by 3.79 okay so I can remove this and this is going to be my actual mug wrap Okay, and I don't have any errors right here. It's going to be perfect for my mug. Okay, so that will be the design for the first mug. And I think I'm going to use this one on the pink glitter mug. Now let me upload my second design. I want to go back. I'm going to click upload image. I'm going to browse to the folder on my desktop, my design bundles folder. And this time I'm going to choose the I choose hope pink sublimation wrap. I'm going to select the second file. I'm going to choose complex. I'm going to click continue, apply and continue. I'm going to select my print then cut image. I'm going to upload it. Okay, I'm going to click upload and add it to my canvas. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with this one. I'm going to resize this look again 8.75 by 3.79 i'm going to click unlock the width will be 8.75 and the height will be 3.79 okay so now i have both of my images ready this one will go on the silver glitter mug i am going to go ahead and remove this i actually I don't need this anymore so i'm going to um, turn that off i am going to duplicate this because this will be the butcher paper that i put around the mug okay so i'm going to duplicate this because i'm making two mugs i don't need this anymore so i'm going to delete this so let me be clear i have this which will be the butcher paper that will wrap around my sublimated image and i have this Will, that will be the butcher paper that will wrap around my second sublimated image. So when I click make it, I'm going to have three mats, two mats that will be print then cut. And then both of these should be able to fit on the same mat because these are just basic cuts. OK, I'm ready to click make it. OK. That's what I have. I am going to go ahead and click mirror here. I'm going to select my second mat. I'm also going to mirror here. And then on these, I don't need to mirror these. This is just going to be butcher paper. I'm just going to move it down just a little bit. I always do that. Okay, I'm going to click continue. Okay. I am going to um, go to my first mat first. I'm going to send this to the printer. I'm going to use system dialog. I'm connected to my Epson EcoTank 2760. I'm going to click print. I'm going to choose my preferences. I'm going to do my sublimation preset with the mirror off. I'm going to click OK. I am going to get this printed. Everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. I have my images sitting on my heat plate just as I always do. Now I will get the butcher paper cut out while those are just drying. I have a piece of butcher paper placed on my green standard grip mat. I'm going to load it into my Cricut cutting machine and it will trim out the mug wrap templates for me. I'm going to click the flashing C. So now I will remove this from my mat and I already have my mug wrapped, so I'm not having to try to figure out what size to cut the butcher paper or, you know, just making a random size. I'll just use these to wrap around the templates. Now I'm going to get my two sublimated images cut out on the mat. I have my image on the mat. Now, I very well could have cut this out by hand, but I don't like to do that. And I don't have a steady hand, so if I can let my Cricut do the cutting... I do. I'm using the infusible ink transfer sheet uh, material setting and I will get my 
rectangle cut out. I have decided to place this image on the gray mug. So I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it around the mug like this. Okay, so I can see it's the perfect size. I actually could have made it a little bit longer. Kind of feel like I wish I would have because I know that I could have gone up to um, nine inches wide and I still would have been in a safe, I guess the safe zone with this. I think that's good. Now I'm going to take the wrap and wrap it around. And it's the perfect size. The purpose of the butcher paper is just to make sure that there is none of the ink gets on the inside of your mug press. We'll transfer from one project to another. That's all the tape I'm gonna do on this. And once my mug press is ready, It will beep and let me know so the light is red and I will use this image for the pink mug I am concerned that this pink won't show up but even if it doesn't I think the message will still be clear and I still think this will look nice on the mug so we shall see first mug I'll get the first mug inserted you just want to kind of put it in at an angle and make sure that it is, you know, that handle is right there in the middle and just press it to close it. These lights will start to light up one at a time and it will let you know, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. It'll let you know when it is ready. So each light, I would say each light flashes for about a minute or so. And so once the mug comes out, the handle won't be hot the mug itself will be hot. I'll place the mug here and insert the second mug. Okay, I'll speed this part up. Okay, it's beeping. That lets me know that the mug is finished. I'm gonna open it right here. And remember the handle is not hot, but you know, be careful. I'm just gonna pull it straight out and I can see a little bit of the image on there. So hopefully it's, it's good. You see a little bit. I'm gonna place it here and go ahead and get the next mug started. Once again, putting it in at a slight angle and just press it down and let the mug press do what it does. Okay, my second mug has beeped. So I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on, open my mug press, take the second mug out. It looks like it did a good job. It looks like it did. Look at that, that's always a good sign. So now I'm gonna see if this one is warm enough. It should be warm enough. It should be warm enough for me to reveal it so this part makes me nervous because, you know, you want your mug to be perfect and you don't know what it's going to look like. So, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I know what the design looks like, but I don't know what it's going to look like on the mug. So the first thing I've done is remove the butcher paper. I still have the A-sub sublimation paper on there. I'm very nervous. Very nervous. I'm gonna grab something to help me remove the paper. Let's see it together. Let's see it together. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let me see if I love it. I don't love it because you can't see the image that well. Look at that. I don't love it. I don't love it. Now, 
Would I love this on a white Cricut mug? Yes. On this glitter mug? No. I might have to print this again. I don't love it. <laughs> it's not often that I say I don't love something, but I don't love it. Let's see what this one looks like. So this one is still a little bit hot because, you know, I just took it out. Let's see if I love this one. I do not love that one. Still love the glitter, but maybe that was the wrong design. Let's see. Let's see this one. Oh, now I do love this one. I do. I do love this one. Look at that. I love this. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. I love it. This is gorgeous, and I know exactly who I'm going to give this to. This is beautiful. Like, this almost makes me cry. This is beautiful. I love this one. This one, I chose the wrong design. I should have tried something darker. I'm not sure. Maybe this, maybe I should have tried this design on this mug, but it's too late now. So let me know your thoughts about it. How do you feel about it? Would you still like this mug if someone gave this to you as a gift? Um, would you give this as a gift or would you just use this as one of your oops? Um, you know, I need to try it again. At any rate, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye!